Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the O'Neill with Thrifty Divas. Um, I initially tried to put this in with a Dollar Tree haul, but the Dollar Tree haul was too long. So this is a slightly collective haul because it is a haul from two separate privately owned dollar stores or two privately owned 99 cent stores. Um, and I always make this announcement before I begin um, because in the past people have gotten confused. This is not a privately owned Dollar Tree. This is a privately owned non-franchise, non-chain dollar store or 99 cent store. So for any of my local people, um, the first one that I'm going to do is Solo 99 on Carlton Avenue in Central Islip. Um, so let me show you what I got from there and then we'll move on to another store that was my first time going to so okay so first I found these uh, feminine wipes I just loved the packaging I thought they were so cool Modest um, and you get 40 in here which is kind of crazy because it's really big so they're five by nine by seven by nine so they're pretty big um, and this is like the unscented and everything like that but it was really the like saved by the bell packaging that got me so <laughs> So these were 99 cents. And then I got this for my son. Um, and I've gotten him one before. So this is the Mess Free Coloring, the um, Crayola Color Wonder. So you get a 15-page book and four of these special markers that only color on the special paper and nowhere else. Not skin, not clothing or floors or walls or anything. Um, and even though it's Hello Kitty... I don't care um, because these are pretty expensive and the more of these he can have the better because you don't have to worry about it getting anywhere so this was 99 cents then I found um, this package of wet ones pocket size singles and they're 24 individually wrapped fragrance and alcohol free cleans with natural moisturizers clinically shown safe for baby it says um, so this has I just it again. this has um, the price from whatever store it was at where'd it go and it was 319 but 99 cents so I picked that up to put everywhere basically okay then I found one thing that I'm gonna save for next summer because I absolutely loved it so this was 259 and you get 15 of these and they are 10 inch by 12 inch oval heavy-duty paper platters they call them but look at all the seashells and the starfish and the coral I just absolutely loved them so probably next summer maybe before then who knows but yeah so 259 but I thought that was fair and I think they're gorgeous and then also for my son I picked up these Centos scented markers they're, they're these jumbo ones and they have the faces on them so I got him two packs of these this is watermelon orange and grape and this says collectible series one and as does this one and then this is strawberry green apple and blueberry so I got him these two I'm gonna throw that in with his um, birthday presents I think so there's that 99 cents each I don't know if I said that and the last four things from solo 99 in Central Islip I found this soft soap orchid petals and mint water in the 10 fluid ounce and it smelled delicious to me and I love the like design in the background I love that so I picked that up and then for the kitchen obviously I got this soft soap foaming kitchen citrus bliss and this is eight ounces it says washes away bacteria and it's so pretty too so I got that for the kitchen and then for the fall season I got this this is by source it says and this is pumpkin macaroon hand soap and it smelled delicious as well. 10 fluid ounce. Then for Christmas time, I got Sugar Plum Merlot hand soap. 
Smells awesome as well. And they also had a toasted marshmallow, but no, no, not for me. I don't do those smells. Okay, so that was Solo 99. And again, for my local people, this next one, it was my first time ever going in there. And it is on Connectquat Avenue, across, kind of across and a little further down from Mary's Pizza and Pasta in Islip Terrace. Um, it was right next to, you almost miss it, it was right next to like a beer distributor or liquor distributor, but it was my first time in there and I'm like, let me go check it out. And it was pretty nuts. Very, kind of small, but totally nuts. All right, so the first thing I got were these like old school retro placemats for my son. He can eat on them or he can do his Play-Doh or paint or whatever. So I got this first one, Secura Club, in the yard. And it has all these cute illustrations I loved things like this as a child I could stare at them for ages you know like the longer you stare the more you see kind of thing so I got him that and then on the back <clears throat> it's got the little Secura Club safety tips and then it's got some mazes and show her how to get everything without ever touching her dad's dangerous products sort out Jeff's art supplies from his grandfather's tools just fun stuff like that and you know because it's a placemat and laminated you could wipe it off then they also had one in Halloween so Secura Club at Halloween and it has this awesome street scene from Halloween I love it seriously like this makes me like fuzzy inside and very emotional and nostalgic. It's weird what it's doing to me, but this is, this totally reminds me of my childhood and I would legit stare at this for hours if I had it and look at every single detail in there. So that's the scene there. And then more safety stuff on the back, you know, the dangers of trick or treating and, uh, and examining your candy and stuff, you know? So anyway, things like that. So those were actually three for a dollar. I only bought two, but they were 33 cents each. And then they had this two pack of sippy bowls for my son that he eats his soup out of and sometimes cereal. He's just starting with the cereal, but two of them for 99 cents. I pay a dollar at Dollar Tree all the time for these. So, and these are nice and deep. So, picked up one of those. Then I got two of these paintbrush sets. They're probably trash, but whatever. I got one for me and one for my son. Oh yeah, they look horrible. Whatever. One for me and one for my son. They were $1.49 each, as you can see there. But look at that. Look at that, 15 assorted brushes. Don't they look awful though? <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, so one for me, one for my son. Not painting any, you know, Picasso works of art or anything, so it's fine. Then I found this pack of stickers for 99 cents or a dollar that I thought was adorable. It's all these little kitties with the gold foil. Love them. Uh, you know, it doesn't tell you how many, it just says one sheet acid free super cute then I found these magnets and I couldn't even control myself so they were a dollar look at that <laughs> I can't I can't these are amazing so whether I use them for magnets or let my son do some cooking play with them whatever half and half whatever it's fine let him play with them downstairs in the basement which is the fridge that has that can hold magnets you know let him take them off of there and play and then put them back whatever the case but 99 cents for how many even is this two four six eight for eight of them and they're they're like a pretty decent size amazing and they do have like a gold tone it's not really picking it up on the camera but they do have a gold tone you get everything how amazing all right, then I got this lighter for a dollar just because it's pink. 
then I thought this was pretty phenomenal. So they had this and little mini loaf pans. <coughs> and I got three of them because they were three for two dollars. So they're these little bunt pans these, and they're metal. These little metal bunt pans, three for two dollars. So I picked those up, adorable. Okay, and then the last few items I got, they had movies. And again, no, I'm a liar, I'm a liar, hold on. I got these two. I got two of these for a dollar. I'll show you. One might be going in a giveaway, but one is for me. So this was a dollar, and it is this bracelet with all of these rhinestones. So it wraps around double like that. You can cross it over however you like, but it's sparkly and beautiful and a dollar. And one will show up in a giveaway. So, gorgeous. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, as I was saying, so this is what I love. Another one of the million things that I love about privately owned dollar stores. You don't know where they get their stuff half the time. So, this particular store, the one that I told you in Islip Terrace on Connect Quad Avenue across from Mary's, they had a whole bunch of movies in a box on the floor. They were a dollar each or buy five, get one free or something like that. So, something like that. So they had like movies in blockbuster cases. They had movies in red box cases. They were like all used too. I don't know where they came from. <laughs> whatever but I did pick out see this one is from um, Video City which used to be a, a video store in uh, in Holbrook if you're from here and apparently Video City was selling it for three for five but a dollar so I picked up the fog cuz like why not right and you got Jamie Lee Curtis in here too so there she is so I picked up the fog for a dollar and then I picked up M. Night Shyamalan's The Village for a dollar. I don't even know if I own it or not. I have to go look at my huge movie collection. I really have no clue. But it was a dollar, so I bought it. I can give it to somebody else, if not. And then... Okay, so I have every single one of the Saw movies, and I have them all in order on my movie shelf, because I have OCD, and I have them all in order. So I already have this one, but not this one, okay? A dollar check out what I got so this is saw five the box is slightly messed up and that's sad because it was probably just from being thrown in that cardboard box on the floor with all the other movies but I'll try to flatten that out and get it into a condition that it's more deserving of so this is the uncut collector's edition And it's a it's it's two part. So let me show you. It's a two part box, right? So you have the movie here, the director's cut. So I feel like the director's cut and the uncut collector's edition. I don't even know if that's the same thing or this doesn't belong in here. Whatever. It probably does. I don't know. Saw five. Okay, great. So that slides into the back. Now let me show you the coolest thing ever. So it's like clear in here. You see that? It's like a clear window. That's why it's built like that. Okay, you ready? And you see the guy laying down? Okay. If you get scared easily, click off. Okay. You thought it was over, but the games have just begun. The box is actually vibrating. It's like a bassy vibration in the box too. Can you see? Stand it? Amazing. A dollar. So I had to get it. 
I already have five, but like I said, not that five. So holy cow. All right. So that's it from my two privately owned dollar stores. And I hope you're seeing why they're my favorite place on earth. Forget Disney World or land or whatever. Privately owned dollar stores are the happiest place on earth. Okay. And if you're local, now you know where they are. You can give them a try. So thank you for spending some time with me today. I know you have many choices of who to hang out with. And I'm so happy you chose to hang out with me for 15 and a half minutes. Until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.